Hey guys, what is up? It's Noah. Welcome back. Today I will be reviewing another Hulk. This is not one of the small ones. This is a whole different one. Didn't come in a set. It was I got this at a pawn shop in Bristol, and um, I'm gonna review it. I'm pretty sure it is from the 2005 Incredible Hulk film because uh, it really just kind of has the head and the body too. But let's get into it. So we're gonna go over the articulation, the paint job, and the sculpting. So let's go over the uh, let's go over the paint job first. The paint looks terrific on this guy. The, they really did the pants well. I, they they uh, the Hulk from the film usually went with either purple or blue, but they did it brown for this one, and I think it looks great. The paint job with the green. They did some shadowing with the green, so that really adds more to this figure. You see right here. Around. They even added shadowing to the pants, so that looks good. The sculpting on this guy is terrific. If you can see all the veins popping out everywhere, the muscle sculpting looks great, and the head uh, it's good, but I mean, like the mouth is just kind of like he will talk like that for the rest of his life. The hair looks fine. The hair looks okay for this kind of Hulk, like I said, the 2004 Hulk. This is on the back. I don't know what this was for, but I mean, like it was cool. I guess I don't really mind it. I don't really play with this figure at all. Um, the sculpting on the pants, oh my gosh. They added these little cross hashes, or maybe like, I don't know, uh, indents. And it makes it feel like it's actually like rough brown jean pants. And it looks really awesome. The sculpting on the rip parts look great too. They, they did some big ones, and then they also did like smaller ones. The leg sculpting looks great too. The calves look awesome. Again, with the veins looking really good on this side too. Like ultimate veins right there. The toes look great. Really okay. I mean, the foot kind of has it like popping out here. But hey, what are you going to do? Uh, the abs aren't so great. He only actually has two abs. Which, I meant like it's the Hulk. But they did make the, um, the diaphragm a little bit smaller than usual figures would have. But anyways, on to the articulation. So he can look down this much, up that much. He can turn his head... 360. Yeah, it sounds like he's breaking. He does have diaphragm swivel and actual diaphragm fully movement, so you can have him like push around like this. And this is one of the parts of the figure I do not like. The butterfly joints, but are on the back, and they're just, just a giant hole. Like, just. I don't know. It isn't done by Marvel Legends, it's done by a completely different, uh, completely different factory or, um, company, I would say, and it just didn't do, it just, I don't think it did good with the, uh, well, the butterfly joints, they just, they just opened up too much, and on the back also, which just makes it kind of like this, the front, looks like his shoulders are kind of snapped in half, anyways, let's get that back in there, arm can go up that far, down this far, he actually comes with this kind of like little grabbing motion here, this wrist can only go like this, 360 all around, and then this wrist actually has a uh, tilt motion, sorry, it's falling apart, tilt motion, so you can have him like, kind of like this, like just bending his hand, it only goes back that far, and it still has its uh, 360 motion, so that's pretty dope. The legs are different from more Marvel Legends, they only have this square kind of joints to them, so they do go out that far. In that far, they still turn, still go back. Sorry, the phone's turned a little bit. And the knees fully, really only go that way, and they don't go like out, but that's okay. The foot goes up this way, back that way, and he does have ankle pivot. Anyways, let's get this guy back here. Yeah, I think it's the Hulk from the 2005 film, or it could be 2003. I always get the times wrong with this, but I think it's 2005. But it really kind of has that 2005 film theme. Like, even the head. If you looked at the head, if you look at the head, it really looks like the 2005 film. And I mean, I've i seen it before. It's a pretty dope film. I think the Hulk acts kind of like a baby in that one, where he throws a tank. He kind of gets really mad and kind of looks like he's about to cry. But, um... <laughs> But anyways, guys, if you like this video, please subscribe, like, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye!